Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about this new update on a One Piece game, which is the Leopard Fruit coming to the game. And I'll be showing you every leak, sneak peek, and everything you need to know before playing this update. But one thing I'm sure about is that Leopard Fruit is one of the best fruits in the game. Despite having Luffy Gear 5, I think Leopard Fruit after the showcase is way better. But before, I'm going to talk about this picture right over here. This sneak peek over here, you see the anime FPS thing right over here. I think it's the biggest hint on what this question mark, question mark, question mark update is. It's probably gonna come out when Leopard Fruit comes too. And here's the group. Secret project, uh, Shu. The boss has made this group. I think it's somewhat special, so I just requested to join. But I don't know what it is. And uh, here's the video of me just so showing you the secret uh, members page. And yeah, these are the developers that help the boss, or maybe the boss's friends. And I tried looking to the uh, profile of each another just to find if I can see anything useful here about the update, but actually no, there's nothing special about their profiles, just some ordinary, ordinary um, things in life. Yep, in these avatars, yeah. So basically, this is a secret group, and I'm pretty sure many of you have requested to join, but still nothing happens. It's just waiting for uh, the boss to accept you into the group. I'm pretty hyped up for the secret update, as I don't know what will happen. There's Ammo, there's the Not Dave, there's Kevo. You know, I don't know. The Not Dave right over here. There's nothing, literally nothing on their profiles that are useful. So I'm pretty sure this update is really really secret and there's nothing I can do. But let's talk about the leopard fruit. So here's the first sneak peek on the Boss Studios channel. Yep, you can go to their Discord and have a look on the leopard fruit showcase and stuff where he just showcased it a while ago. So that's the leopard, uh, uh, what's that called? The leopard form. The leopard form is one of the most amazing looking fruits I've ever seen, as the tail moves itself as well, as you can see the fruit right over here. Pretty good looking, right? I'm pretty sure not much games have awakened uh, leopard fruit, as it is a Zoan fruit, and it is really really hard to get. I'm pretty sure uh, in Ball Studios, it might be different. So have a look on this showcase video where Ball Studios Boss made studio. it. Hola Ball Studio, hello. <laughs> okay, wait, no, 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 no. That light is not gonna mess this video up again. Give me a second, let me... Ah, there we go. Now basically it's just like a little intro. Um, Zuri's gonna be going voicing over the video or the clip or the showcase. Let me let me know if you guys enjoy this type of video so that I do this in the future. Thank you guys. Enjoy the video. Good evening everybody. Let's just showcase the leopard form real quick. You have observation hockey, leopard form, the awakened leopard form on equipping the two. First thing first, let's start with the leopard form. Upon transforming your mech with this beautiful rig, a simple leopard form that you know from the anime, which we all love of course, you have a claw strike which is M1, you have fly fire plectrum, you have a victorious bird, rapid fire sting, Soto assault, 6 king gun, of course observation hockey, again. Now, the claw strike, simply one barrage, with the third strike being a dokushin, range M1, once again. Now for the fire plectrum. As you can see, the user shoots fire from the nails, leaving an explosion upon impact, inflicting burn damage. For the victorious bird, it is once again a projectile. 
This time it's Rankyaku from the feet. I will show it once again. As you can see, two projectiles already. Actually, a third one, because them one, of course. Now, for the rapid fire thing. Why is such a great unit? Ability 4 DPS. You spam and attack, each dealing massive damage to their targets. <laughs> That's awesome, isn't it? Now for the Sword of Assault. You move in any direction you can imagine, even 4 dimensional if you want. And then you smash down, leaving a massive crater. Now for the ultimate move, the 6 King Gun. Let me run over there. You grab a target, slam them down on the explosion. Other entities are home. Now for the Awakened form. I'm pressing Y. Enter the Awakened level form. As you see, you become taller yet slimmer, and black clouds engulf your body. Now, the moves may look the same, but the damage has heavily been buffed. The Fire Plexum is now purple fire. The Victorious Bird is now a black bird with blue fire on it. As you guys know, blue fire is hotter than red fire. Now for the rapid fire sting, this has also become purple. The Sword of Assault has once again, you guessed it, become purple. And the Six King Gun still grabs their unit, attacks them. Awesome. I guys may ask, this has nothing to do with Leopard. Um, okay. The Devil Flute user, Rob Lucci, is a member of the CP0, or the CP9, formerly. He is a Rokushiki fighting style user. His Leopard form just enables him to do the same attacks, yet stronger, faster, and simply better. We have merged some attacks that are not actually from Rokushiki and tried to implement them here. The Fire Plectrum and the Rapid Fire Sting are Leopard original moves. That's it for now, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the update. Boss Studio. Well, there's that. There is the Boss Studios video showcase right over here. It's a premiere, you can still see it. And to be honest, what I think about the Leopard Fruit, it's really amazing, really strong, good for farming and AFK. What are you waiting for? Go get it. Please leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below if Leopard Fruit is one of your favorites. And peace out.